Good day, grade fours. Thank you for all your hard work. And welcome to our very first term three NST lesson. And today's topic is energy for life. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Energy makes things happen, move and change. We actually need energy for life. In order to do anything, breathe, get out of bed, do your homework, play soccer or netball, you need energy. All machines that help us, such as television, stoves, light bulbs, cars, they all need energy to work. We say that energy is the ability to do work. Here's more information about energy. The source of all energy on earth is the sun. What do I mean by that? The source of energy is something we get energy from. The sun provides us with two energy, heat and light. We get all our energy from the food we eat, whether we eat plants or animals. All energy comes from the sun. And we will unpack this topic nicely when we learn about food chains. Energy in food comes from the sun. The sun is a source of energy. Plants use energy from the sun to make their own food. And remember, I taught you this, and I said this process is called photosynthesis. Their food gives them energy to live. As they grow, they store some of the food in their leaves, their stems, and their roots. Plants provide food for animals and people, so this energy is transferred from their leaves, their roots, and their stems onto us and onto the animals. And it doesn't matter if you are a herbivore, a carnivore, or an omnivore, we all get our energy from the food we eat and the food could be plants or animals these plants get their energy from the sun and that's why we say the sun is the source of energy let's discuss where does all the earth's energy come from what have you done since you woke up this morning do you think everything you've done since morning required some energy? And what is the difference between a herbivore, a carnivore, and an omnivore? These are the, some of the things that I want you to think about because the knowledge that you, you will get from this discussion will prepare you for our coming lessons. Class activity is in your platinum textbook and this is page 110. Sorry, I forgot to include page number there. I'll write it on the board for you, but it is on page 110. And the activity is activity two and the heading is identify users of energy. Question one says, Look at pictures one to four. Um, this is an instruction. So once you're done doing what you're instructed, you may write done. Or you can leave it blank. Question two says, match each picture with one of the statements below. 
And I have put for, for you here picture one, two, three, and four. So what I would like you to do is read all four statements, statements A to D. And as you're reading, try and match the pictures to the statement, okay? And write the correct statement next to the picture. Question three to eight are very much clear questions. I don't need to clarify anything there, okay? And if you're feeling a little bit unsure, don't be scared to put down your answer and you will get clarity when we do corrections, all right? So you don't have to be scared or leave your answers blank because most of the time you're actually correct. You're just anxious about putting down your answer. And for your homework, um, this will be in your platinum textbook. It is in your platinum textbook on page 112. Um, and there's a picture there for you to take a look at and observe. And before you start answering questions, you need to make sure that you look at the picture very carefully. And when we do corrections, you will look at the picture together. And the heading for activity four says identify the source of energy in our food. This is more like an intro lesson, okay? And I will bombard you with information on our next lesson, all right? <laughs> That's it from me, Great Force. Thank you for sticking around and remember, be kind, be respectful and stay safe.